So, for next steps, um, let me go. Have you guys worked with a home um, a mortgage counselor, a HUD approved counselor yet? A lot of the, a lot of them have. Yeah. Made often with Meta. Okay. Um, we used to with SFHDC, but well, there's some politics there, and their counselors have been getting pushed out. I don't know. Actually, I think Wells Fargo may have had something to do with that. Um, <laughs> but you might not know that. You might not know the politics. Um, and some of the other local uh, HUD-approved counselors we work with as well. So. May I recommend going to Tomato or to um, Asian Inc. is another one. And will you let me, like, schedule a meeting with them? And then what we can do is let me know who you're meeting with and when. That will give me time to pull up your files and talk to the person at the president's office who has your file to let him know or her know that you're connecting with the HUD approved counselor. That's what we did last week, okay. mm -hmm. and that let me tell you, it worked really well mm -hmm. because one, the what the HUD approved counselor does is they actually work with you on the on the process, yeah, through the paperwork, right? They make sure that you have all the paperwork and there's no such thing as things getting lost, right? That it's all um, one of the things that this this the individual had last week. You know, she was elderly; she didn't know what to turn in, and so that was causing some of the confusion. So we just said, okay deal with the HUD approved counselor, let me know who it is, then we'll have you meet, and those two people will work directly on your behalf. And that work has worked really, really well. Okay. And then I'll be in the loop. I'll ask to be in the loop so that I know that, that things are moving along. Um, and every other day I, I always ask for like an update, so what's, what's happening. Um, and then by you being able to work with them, with the HUD approved counselor, then it allows me to say, look, things are happening in good faith. Mm -hmm. Um, let's let that work out, and then the counselor and then our folks are talking directly. Okay, um, now that's uh, what I expected to happen. Yeah, I, can, I dealt with Alejandro Capato and Catalina Catalina Valencia at Consumer Credit Counseling, and like I say, they were great, mm -hmm. and they kept accurate records of everything of all the the documents and the conversations. But the bank claimed, "Oh no, no, we didn't get them." Like, I have to look into that. I, mean, I, I don't. I don't know. So that, that, that if we it, yeah, if like we encounter a situation where that doesn't seem to be working, um, what procedure would you prefer yeah, that we follow? I, I, like if it's not working with the HUD approved council, which I doubt, because they're really good. They're community based organizations that have been around for a long time. Yeah, it's really not the counselors that aren't working. It's when Wells Fargo doesn't work well with the counselors. Yeah. That's what we're talking yeah. about. Well, then let me know. Okay. Then, 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 you know, you need your pen. Uh, oh. No, not look. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I need to make a point here. Okay. Now, Miss Miss Bernetta Adolph. Uh -huh. Yes. She has already worked with the HUD, HUD counselor. She uh -huh. is going beyond. That is a uh, very, very priority. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 Big priority. First off, and it didn't work. What? 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 <laughs> From what I understand, it was a similar thing to me. She did everything that they wanted her to do. She's a ex city, ex muni worker. Yeah, no. Of course, yeah. she was at, yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. you heard her yeah. story yeah. at the Spurs meeting. Yeah. And she is about to be put out of her house tomorrow. Tomorrow. And now, do you say, are you saying that she needs to come down and talk to you personally? Well, if she, I don't know where she's at in the process, meaning like, if, if She's it's, about if it's, to be evicted out of her home, mm -hmm. like tomorrow. tomorrow. Mm -hmm. That's where she's at. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that that I'm gonna have to look into. Well, could you make that a yeah. priority to look into that? That case? I promise you. Yeah. You promise me. I will make that a priority. Okay. I, I, I like people to keep my promises. <laughs> keep their promise. Me, <laughs> I'm gonna pull you up on that. Now, if I see you out there on the street, you know, I'm gonna. Yeah, did you keep your promise? Well, the the re the request would be, you know, could you postpone the eviction until her case has been reviewed? Yeah, I mean, Bernetta is she is a retired, disabled yeah. African American city worker who who, you know, is is part of the retirement system. Mm -hmm. She fits into, and I hate to to bring this to the table like this, but she fits into every category of folks who are being disenfranchised in this nation. I mean, in this city. other than being Latina, <laughs> you know? So I, I think this would be a wonderful 
gesture in the bank's part. Opportunity mm -hmm. to, to, in the best of faith, show that you are, are on the side of this individual who has worked her entire life. She's a single mother. You know, she's got a son in college. She took out a second loan on her home to put her kid through college. I mean, this is not an individual, just not a, a bullshit individual. This is a real deal. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, she, she has educated herself, has worked pro per for herself, has run up and down the city, has, you know, suffered from blindness. Yeah, I was just going to say that she went yeah. blind and she yeah. just recently got her sight back. Yeah. I mean, this is just, this is, this is, when I talk about real, this is the real yeah. individual that I'm referring to. And, and if anybody deserves yeah. some peace in her retirement, this is the individual. So thank you for that promise. I mean, Miguel, I don't, it. I don't know. Bustos. I don't know. No, call me Miguel, please. Okay, Miguel. I mean, if with you my, can. My own eyesight going. I don't know. The Mister, I sound feel really old. If you can, I mean, I know that the Office of the Executive Complaints is well aware of Bernetta. <coughs> I know that in my case, Wells Fargo, via the Office of the Executive Complaints, was able to stop my eviction process, mm -hmm. and they stopped it dead in their tracks. It came from Wells Fargo and Fannie Mae, the investor, working directly with each other. This is absolutely one of those situations. And just as we're having this conversation here, and like you said, you want to bring about a dialogue, I am on board with you 100%. If we cannot talk about this clearly and honestly, then it's going to go nowhere. So in regards to Bernetta, please do what you can. Okay. I'll into it. Thank you. Um, and then the rest of the folks... I can call them and have a conversation with them. Uh, yes, and, and if you need, um, if you need contact, I'll send you the, or one of us will send you the, an online version of that so you can read it more easily. Okay. Um, and then Great. if you have trouble reaching any of them, we'd be happy to facilitate okay. you connecting with them. Okay. Grace Martinez is our lead organizer yeah. with ACE, and she is so well versed on all of the different twists and turns that we've, we've all encountered. So, and we've all signed releases with her. So she's able to speak on our behalf as well. Yeah. Alright. Does anybody have anything else that they wanted to say? Thank you for Do you have time. anything else? Thank you. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your promise and 